Okay, so I've got three of the Pioneer GMD Class D amplifiers for my car. Uh, this one is the 9601, the 1200 watt mono. I have two more, they're the 8604s, the 100 watts by four, four channels or whatever. Uh, I installed all three in the car at the same time, but I don't have any of my uh, front speakers in yet, so I was only using this one uh, for subs to test it out and test out the DSP and stuff. But uh, I get a pop when it turns on and then a hiss, and I can't figure out what the problem is. I had I tried everything, tried all the remote circuits. I had a I had a um, a relay on it to turn all the remote stuff on. Uh, I switched ground cables, I checked all the ground impedance, I switched power cables, I finally put the battery in the trunk and hooked it up directly to the amp rack. That didn't solve anything. So the last thing I could do now is just completely tape the amps out of the car. I've got this as simple as I could possibly get it and every component has been changed at least once to eliminate it. Like I've even used a different battery. This battery that's on the table here is a battery out of my car. And uh, I got this old 8 gauge power, well this is the ground connected here, the the jump jumper cable is only there to hold it to the battery post and then power and then wires to the speakers. This is the mono block and then remote so that I can plug it to the battery to turn it on and show you guys what happens. I'm going to put the meter up there and show you voltage on the battery and I impedance uh, for ground and stuff just to prove that it's uh, it should be good how it is. All right, so I'll show battery voltage first. 12.27 and at the amp 12.27 impedance on the ground amp battery 0.04 ohms which is odd because it was better earlier. Okay, I'm getting 0.2 just straight through the leads. 0.54. So about 0.2 ohms for the ground. About the same on the positive. All right, so I've got this little lapel mic that I'm going to put on the speaker so that uh, hopefully it'll pick up the pop and the hiss. Sorry about the area. And I'm just going to turn the amp on and you can listen to it. That's uh, The gains are all, all the way down and the crossover is all the way up, for, uh, like low. I think it says it goes up to low pass at 240. Base knob is not plugged in, RCAs are not plugged in. I'm just going to touch it here. Here you go. Also, the gain setting does not change how loud the hiss or the pop is. If I turn the gain all the way up, it makes no difference. Same with the crossover. It does work on music, though, which I'll show. When I, I'll, I'll hook up one of the four channels, and I'll show you that, the, that they work on music. All right, here's the four channel. This is one of the 8604s. Right now, I have it bridged, because that's how I was running it in the car. The other amp does the exact same thing when it's not bridged. Uh, same thing, gains are at zero. Uh, crossovers are off on this one, I believe. And uh, no RCAs or anything plugged in. And same problem. Hopefully that mic is picking it up.
I'll show you the settings. Uh, filter is off there. It's low pass off, high pass it's off. Uh, it's bridged. Filter here is also off. Gain all the way down. Gain down. And no RCAs. Try it again. I really hope the camera's picking that up, but I'll turn the gains up and show you that it doesn't really affect the hiss. My bad, the gains are affecting it. I did not notice that on the subwoofer amplifier. The monoblock did not do that, so on this one it is. Possibly because the frequency of that hiss is up in the range where this is, amplifies it. So are these amplifiers just that shitty that that's the noise floor? It gains all the way down? Because I can hear that from behind the camera now. That sucks. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do with this, I guess. Still this video up on YouTube. I got these from Newegg for a pretty good price. That was probably two months ago. And I've installed them and everything, so I doubt they'll take them back. But even if they would, they'd probably want me to take like store credit or something. And I know they don't have the best selection of car audio amplifiers, and then I'll be stuck without amplifiers. And I really would rather not run these with with a noise situation that's that bad and honestly it when I start the car or something like that the pop is so loud that I mean the subwoofers actually move air like it's not it's not just a little pop it's it's pretty big so I don't know I have to figure something out now that I figure out the gains do that um, the gains do have an effect on the hiss I want to see what happens if I turn them up and and uh, turn it on and off. Well, it says it says normal is right there, so I'll put them both in normal. And then try it again. That's pretty loud. Yeah, so I have no idea what that's about. If you have any comments, let me know. Thanks for watching.